So uh, let's just take a moment of silence to recognize this hair. Just look, the hair is the moment. Let's just give her a moment. Hey guys, it's Apply Natural here and I am back with another video. So welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. Um, if you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the family because you'll like it here. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, we got a lot update. And I have a lot to update you guys on. Some good, some bad, and some yeah. So let's just get right on into it. First thing I have to update you guys on, and it's the saddest thing, so we're gonna go ahead and get it out the way first. I lost another baby like y'all. Postpartum is definitely kicking my ass right now. And it's crazy because my daughter will be one in two weeks. So this whole entire time, I haven't had any issues. And now it's really just going crazy. Like, I'll show y'all my hairline, which y'all are gonna see when I do the 360 of my hair and let you guys see that. But my hairline is just down bad right now. Like, really bad to the point where I have to have my hair down. And if I decide to do my side part or whatever, I actually have to slick my baby hair because that hair is really broken off right there. And so you gotta slick it down. And y'all know me, and if y'all don't know, I got 4C hair. Lola does not do well with edge controls, gels, got to be, none of that. These naps are going to stay napping. These coils are going to be coily and there's nothing an edge control is going to do about that. So I just been struggling with that. Um, right now, I feel like my hairline is definitely back to where it was when I first started my lock journey three years ago because when I started that lock journey, I was postpartum then too, but my daughter was like six months. So I had the postpartum after six months and I didn't have any hair on the perimeter of my hairline. And then I had my baby locks. I had, I think I started off with nine baby locks all together. And I lost about three of them, one, two, three, four. I lost four of my nine baby locks. The rest of them surprisingly are holding on very well. I don't have any issues with those, but girl. That is just too much for my little heart because I literally have to start all the way over growing those, um, growing that hair into locks all over again. So that's gonna be a journey because it took me a whole year to get the hair to grow back in in order for me to form a lock. Oh Lord. So we gonna have to, I'm gonna have to keep y'all updated on that. We can do a whole separate video on that because yeah, I did y'all on. I'm not sure if it's here because I am in Virginia. It is humid, 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 hot here. Like right now I'm sitting on the porch. I am dying. I am dying. But I'm doing this for y'all because I love y'all and y'all need this content. But baby, I am dying. Um, but it's something about being out here or being here makes my scalp itch. <laughs> it does. I have been dealing with a lot of itchies out lately and it hasn't been up in, it wasn't doing that prior to me moving here and it's just like I've been here for almost a year and I've noticed that it's something that has not changed my scalp is itchy and I'm just like I don't know if it's something that's just here that's causing it to be itchy like in the air or whatever or I don't know because I haven't really changed from my hair routine the products that I use in my my locks have not changed so I don't think it's product related the only major change that I can see from then and now is just me being here so I don't know what it is but my scalp gets really itchy sometimes I get irritated and along with the itching comes the flakes and that drives me nuts too but it's not all the time it's just like on and off on and off and it's driving me crazy sweating a lot and now that I think about it, the fact that I've been sweating more could be causing me to have to itchy scalp. Not 100% sure, but that's just what we got for now. Okay. And if you guys have not noticed, your girl put a little bit of lock beads in her hair. But let me just be honest real quick. These are not lock beads. These are just beads. These are beads that I usually make my jewelry with. So I came across a YouTuber, I'm not gonna say her name because I ain't about to hate on nobody making their coins, honey. But she was advertising these beautiful lock beads and when I went on the site and I actually looked at some of the beads and I was like, wait, I have this 
this, that, and that. And I was just like, oh, you're using like regular jewelry beads and advertising them as lock beads because you know, with micro locks, you can't use like the bigger beads, you have to use smaller beads. And I was just like, okay. I went in my little crafting area, grabbed me some beads, grabbed my hook eye needle and added these babies on. So yeah, that is what that is. And I really like it. I did a bunch of different ones. Like this one is like a little rhinestone kind of like hoop thing. That one is too. This one is a little crown, you know, so this one is like a, just a gold square. And then just to add a little razzle dazzle, I added one little silver one on the bottom on each side. Just to add a little razzle dazzle. You know, this is the first time I actually had like lock jewelry or anything on my actual locks. I haven't done that before. I put some charms in there before. But I don't recommend doing that. Them things, because I like to shake my hair. Them things slapping the hell out of my face. So I'm not going to do that again. But I definitely let a look at the beads. It just adds a little something extra to it. This is something a little new and a little different that I did that I you know, wanted to let y'all guys know about. But the biggest thing I want y'all to know about this hair, baby, it is hot. Y'all see this length? Do y'all see this? Your girl, your girl got hair, okay, hair. And it's on my neck and it's hot, okay? It's really hot. I like it, I love it, it's so thick. And, and the crazy thing to me is that even though I've lost pretty much the perimeter due to postpartum shedding, you cannot tell. My hair is so thick, y'all, it's so thick. My locks have thickened up in the best way and it's so pretty to me and I love it love it love it love it like three years two months locked and this is what we got going i'm loving it i love it so y'all know i'm not gonna leave y'all hanging so let's get right into the 360 view y'all that's all i have for today the video i hope you enjoyed the video if you guys have any questions for me regarding miss lola let me know and i will definitely answer those for you make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed and i will catch you guys later peace